This is the situation this morning. I'm making a meal prep video. We have some bagels cooling and we have this beautiful scene. I'm making ham, egg, and cheese bagel thins. So good morning. I am starting this wedding in a day with a big thing of coffee, which I've showed you guys how I make my coffee quite often. So it's pretty much the same thing, just a little bit of vanilla creamer, a splash of milk, and some zero calorie sweetener, and it's delicious. Big thing of coffee to fuel me for today's meal prep. I'm about to make the prep for bagels, and I'm gonna freeze those, and then the next day they'll be perfect to mic in the oven, or microwave. <laughs> excuse me, to microwave and the microwave, or you could even put it in a little toaster oven if you have one. Um, and then I'm saving a bagel on the side for me for breakfast today, which I think in my last video I shared the same thing. Did they eat this in my last video? I'm not totally sure, but it's something that I do eat often because it's really good and it's really filling. Um, and it's pretty low on points, which I'll share on the screen once I'm done making the breakfast. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. I hope you're doing well. And like I said, this is gonna be a wedding in a day back on WW. Points will be included, and any recipes I make will be down in the description box. Uh, also, and also, this exact meal prep will be down below um, if you guys wanna watch it, which you probably should because there's some really great recipes in there. Look how good these look. They look so good. So this is breakfast. I'll leave the points on the screen for this. This looks so good. I'm probably gonna cut this in half because it's a lot easier to eat once it's cut in half. Vanilla creamer. I'm just adding everything into the app right now. So for everything, including my coffee, my breakfast, the bagel, the cottage cheese and blueberries, and the coffee is 10 points. Um, that's kind of okay. It's my creamer. It's my creamer, y'all. Creamer, three points for the creamer. Because I didn't get sugar free this week. <laughs> Whatever. Um, this is the bagel. I love when the yolk runs out let me know if you guys are grossed out by the the yolk if you like it like really cooked or if you like it what do they call this there's some it's called something i forget what it's called jammy jammy egg what do you prefer like cooked all the way through or a jammy egg like that i prefer the jammy egg mm. so i'm feeling absolutely amazing being back on this program my energy is so good and I'm just really glad I'm reading the comments I feel like I've replied to every comment like that's a goal I have is to reply or heart at least every comment and you guys have been absolutely amazing so I just want to say thank you so much for just understanding and then a lot of you guys said that you're back on WW which I'm so excited for you and I'm excited for us and I'm just excited to see the results. I feel like I've already kind of can tell the results. I don't weigh in yet because it wasn't a full week. Um, so I'm gonna weigh in on Sunday, and but I can already tell I've lost weight. Like I just always can tell. Um, it could be a lot of water weight, but even so I'm happy um, regardless and I'm just feeling really good. So, and I, I feel like you guys can tell too, like I'm just more excited and optimistic and energized. Not to say I still won't have bad days, but I'm having better days than bad days. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, enjoy my breakfast, finish that up, and then finish some meal prep stuff, and then I'll see you guys for lunch, which I think I know what I'm gonna make because it's lunchtime. And I made this the other day for Joey, and I've made something very similar before, but a little bit different um, this time. I made it yesterday for Joey's lunch, and it looked so good, and he called me and told me that it was amazing. So this would be good for work um, leftover. Now you could use a Joseph's Pita's flatbread, which is like the really big, long flatbread. It's very thin, but it does work. But these were buy one, go one free, and I don't know, they're just a little bit better. So you can have one whole pita for four points. So that's what we're doing for the base of our pizza. And then we're going, I have a tray 
right here we're gonna add the toppings we have tomato sauce and then Mexican style cheese and a little tip is to write the grams on the back just so you know instantly um, they didn't have turkey pepperoni but they did have this pepperoni and it's honestly not that big of a difference so I picked this up but feel free to get the turkey and then we're gonna do a little bit of pineapple on mine because I love love pineapple on my pizza and then we'll do salt pepper Italian seasoning so I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the pizza really quick and pop it in the air fryer for about 18 minutes on 380 okay 20 grams divided by two so I want to do two 10 grams on each because 10 grams of this cheese is one point I think that's gonna be enough cheese uh, I don't know that's not very cheesy I might have to do another one guys mm, yeah we're gonna have to do more okay I'm gonna do 16 more grams so that it's each is 18 grams total if that makes sense okay there we go so I think that'll be plenty so total on each pizza so the 18 grams 18 grams hopefully that wasn't confusing <laughs> the math is like four chunks and then I'm gonna just cut them up into smaller pieces because they're very thick this one will be mine I'm gonna add that pineapple and then we're gonna do the pepperoni I have it already measured out as eight slices for three points but I'm gonna try maybe do let's see six slices are six slices is two so maybe we'll do two um or six slices total two let's see three i feel like that's plenty for our personalized pizza so i did six pepperonis now joey doesn't have pineapple so i'll probably do more on his and then i'm gonna add italian onion dip cottage cheese mixed with onion mix carrots a little tiny bit of Cape Cod chips and a boiled egg such a good snack Joey's going to do our desk look at all these cords so he's going to try to hide all of these cords um yeah it's insane so hopefully he can actually accomplish this because the cords are a mess so we'll see how it looks after maybe I'll do a little before and after my side's pretty bad too yeah pretty insane so that drives me nuts and I've been asking for him to do it so I'm gonna snack on this and what was I gonna tell you guys oh dinner I already know what I'm making that's why I'm gonna keep it really low and um, for the snack I didn't want to have anything too heavy because my dinner is gonna be a little bit higher in points but it's something I really want and I'm kind of been craving it so 
I just want to make sure I have enough room for that. I just, um, I'm doing a meal prep, so this is a part of the meal prep. What we're going to have for dinner tonight is like beef, barbecue beef pockets. I'll show you guys. This is what they look like. This is before I pop them in the air fryer. I did two ingredient dough and beef and barbecue and cheese, everything bagel to the top. They're a little, they're a little rustic, <laughs> but we're going to pop them in the air fryer and see how they turn out. And then we'll have it with French fries and some corn, I think. Okay, I just measured out um, our french fries. I'm doing three ounces for three points. Let me show you. I've got some broccoli in there. These I got from, oh my God, where did I get these? Either Walmart or Aldi, I cannot remember. They're seasoned fries. And you can have three ounces for three points, which is awesome. You can have french fries, broccoli, steamable. And here, are the beef pockets that's the first batch done this made so many this recipe link down below it's also in my meal prep which i'll also link down below for you guys but i'm gonna finish up the rest and then start the fries and dinner will be ready i'm gonna make my plate having a lot of broccoli because i'm quite hungry and then i'm gonna do a nice big beef pocket and then my fries. I measured out three ounces. I don't know if it's three ounces, three ounces cooked or not cooked. You think it's cooked? I don't know. Well, I did not cooked. So three ounces not cooked. That was my little section um, that I put in the air fryer. We have sauce and the little beef pockets. This is delicious dinner. This is so cute. I just love how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and make Joey's plate and these are the meal prepped. Okay, I'm having some Halo Top. I'm gonna do three ounces. And yes, I measured on the scale because you could do a half a cup, but I just feel like it's, you get a lot less. Oh, three ounces, perfect, okay. You get a lot less that way. So, I'm having the strawberry halo top. The freaking, the points on this is actually so good. So, yeah, I'm gonna have that for dessert. You know what? I think I'm gonna have four ounces. I'm just gonna try to finish this off because there's like barely any in there. Okay. Okay, so five ounces. I'm eating all of it. I mean, because five ounces. <laughs> Let's see how much five, five ounces is. I don't really care. Half a cup is four ounces, so. Five ounces is five points. Five ounces, five points. Hey, I'm going to save this for favorites. Don't throw it away. Uh, Just leave it right here. Okay. So there's my ice cream. Girl. That's my last thing that I'm eating. By the way, I also did my nails midway through. So if you're wondering why my nails look different, it's because I did them halfway through this video because I was just wanting a change up. So I did pink with little chrome over it. Nobody my ice wondering. cream. I don't know. They might have. They might have noticed it. Might have been, you never know. Oh, dinner was amazing, Joey. Oh, Joey oh. loved. Oh, we matched. We're both wearing oh. white. Yeah, that that was like totally my type of food. I'll leave the recipes linked down below. Yeah, they're kind of like one of the, my childhood recipes that I used to eat when I was a kid. The barber cups. Yeah, they're, kind of they're very like, similar. Kind of similar to that, so I loved them. We're gonna watch Suits and go to bed. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this wedding in a day. I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.